So for the last four games, you've been held under 100 each night. What do you feel like it's going to take to get your offense back to the level that it was before this stretch? Uh, probably a faster pace. We got we got to get a faster pace to where we get up more shots. Um, you know, something we've talked about. You know, as a group. Um, you know, we have to be we have to be better offensively with our execution as well. Uh, so I mean, there 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 are a couple of things that that can uh, get us back up to speed as far as uh, putting putting points on the ball. We have to make some shots too, but. Uh, we, 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 we really need to pick up, you know, pick up our pace, um, uh, made or miss. You know, we got to get up the floor. We got to look for easy baskets. You guys had never, you've not, you have not been a high assist team, but when you had those couple wins uh, <laughs> recently, the guys in the room were talking about the ball was really moving. The ball was moving. Yeah. Has it stopped a little? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I think what's what's happened, particularly the last couple of games. Um, you know, when you start playing against teams that switch a lot, uh, the first the first thing that comes to mind is is to try to break your guy down, especially when a big switches onto a small guy, which is which is um, which is the correct thing to do. But uh, a steady diet of it is not is not very good uh, because it's, it causes you to get stagnant. You know, and that's something that we've been trying to talk and emphasize with these guys. Um, when, when there are switches that do take place, you still have to get the ball moved. I mean, you got to make a quick move. If the move is not there, you got to get off of it. Because when you play against good defensive teams, teams that are uh, that are long, teams that have size, teams that have length, you, you they're not going to allow you just to sit there and just break their guy down. And, and what happens is you can get a little stagnant, and, and that certainly has happened to us, uh, particularly when we play uh, OKC and, and, and Boston and, and – you know, this last game uh, against uh, Toronto. So um, we, we've we got to move the ball. The ball has to move. The ball has to, uh, your, your move, if it's not there quick, you got to get off of it so so that we can force that defense to shift. Do you think, um, do you think having Alec here can help Rodney? I think both guys can, can, can help one another because one, they've played together. Um, you know, both guys have the ability to go off the dribble um, Al- Al- Alec is a, you know, Alex. He's a, he's a terrific passer. He, he, you know, he makes very instinctive passes when he's when he makes a move, and if it's not there, you know, he's off of it. Um, I, I think both guys can complement each other. I really do. Um, and I can see, I can see when they are out there together, uh, you know, they're kind of looking for one another. They're kind of feeding off one another. Um, but but I, I just think in, in, in the case because they play together, I yeah. think that helps a lot. You know, we talked a little bit last week about how Rodney can help Alec get acclimated to Cleveland. Right. He's been here. Mm-hmm. But uh, Rodney's best time as a player was with Alec in Utah. Mm-hmm. So I'm just wondering if you thought that having Alec here could, could maybe bring some of that out. In, in yeah, Rodney. it does. I think so. I mean, I, I know with, uh, with Rodney, he has to be comfortable. Um, being out on the floor with Alec because he's played with him. And, and I mean, I, I don't know how close they are, um, even when they were in Utah, but um, I, I know that they both really fed off one another. And, and that was a really, really good sign. And, and that's, you know, that's the kind, that kind of mixture I want to put out on the floor. Guys that, you know, guys that can feed off each other. I think, I think, I think they both complement each other. Um, I, I think, I think Alec complements uh, Jordan, I think Jordan compliments Allen. You know, so there's some, there's some good combinations there. Uh, we just have to, you know, we just have to, you know, we got to put it all together. Yeah. What do you think you have to urge Rodney to be aggressive? Do I have to urge him? Yeah. Um, I mean, the one thing I try to do with Rodney is just be that little birdie on his shoulder. You know, just to, you know, just to, just just to tell him just to, you know, just to stay aggressive. And, and when I say stay aggressive. That doesn't mean always um, shooting the ball, you know. That means staying in an attack mode. And if you know, if the defense, you know, the defense allows you to to get to the basket, or you can get get to your pull up, um, you know, so be it. But 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 with the ball in his hands, I always want him in an attack mode, and then allow his natural basketball instincts to take over. Um, you know, if there's help on his drive, that he makes the right pass out. If he's in the post, uh, if they double team him, he makes the right, right pass out. It's about making the right play, even even when you're aggressive. I mean, when you're aggressive, it does not necessarily mean to shoot the ball every time you touch it. It just means to be in the attack mode and just takes what the defense gives you.
What do you remember most about uh, bringing Kenny Atkinson on board? <laughs> um, well, Kenny and I we worked together for a year, and we, you know, to me, we had a really had a really good year. You know, he was a he was a terrific worker. Um, I've already, always, you know, respected him from afar. Um, I, I think he's doing a great job with this, uh, you know, with this Nets team. Um, but but we're we're you know we're always you know we're always talking whenever we you know whenever we see each other and we're always cordial and um, you know I'm always acknowledging he's always acknowledging me so you know we have a I think we have a really good really good relationship from afar. Did you see head coaching talent in him then? Um, well, he he was actually my player development guy. Right, right. uh, I, I saw the way he communicated with the players. I saw the way the players responded to him. So. Um, I, I kind of thought down the road he would be, you know, he would be in a position he's in right now. Yeah.